Hi, welcome to a spot of positivity on this lovely sunny Wednesday here. Um, and today I'm going to do some, it's a work with me Wednesday, so we're going to do something together and we're going to see what it is. So let's take a look. Today we're going to do some drawing. This is my little art space, which is indeed rather a mess, but uh, I've chosen to keep it up. Oh, here's my spot of tea and my water bottle, which is actually more important right now in the heat. Got a bit of watercolor here. I dibble dabble in watercolor and in acrylics. And um, even have, let's see, some brushes here, some felt tip pens, a bit of tape. But today we're going to do some doodling, and I'm going to show you some of the things I do. So I like to do um, a spot of Zentangle. Here's just a little example of one of the ones I've done. It's not like my best work, it's just for fun. Um, let's see if I can show you a couple more things here. This is what was a tree I was making. Here's one that I'm kind of working on. I'm not quite done yet. Let's see. Right, just a minute. Ah, showing you all my funny things in my sketchbook. Here's one I'm kind of working on. Um, just online, there's lots of cool things, videos online, and um, I found some cool things. Here is one that I did the other day, just, yeah, just from an online video, YouTube. And um, here's another one. I was inspired by something I did on, saw online, and then I just did my own thing with it. Now, you'll see there's loads of little detail bits. And it's all made up of the details, and that's the thing about Zentangle. I think that I'm not allowed to call myself a Zentangle teacher because I'm not qualified. But I've had lots of experience doing stuff. And you can call it doodling or Zen doodle or whatever. I think it's all about enjoying the process. So look at this. This is my lovely, lovely um, blank sheet of paper. This is just a little book from Paper Chase. It's a little sketchbook. So pretty good quality paper to sketch on. And um, I'll show you what materials I use. I have these little micron pens. So zero 01, that's a really nice fine line. But even finer, my favorite, is the zero 05. These are whatever they're saying, archival quality ink. Here's another one, this is a Pigma pen. This one is a 05. That is a lot thicker than a 005. But it's good to use to fill in the small things. Of course, I have a pencil, and it really is just an ordinary pencil. I don't even know what this is. Anyway, HB. Yeah. Handy dandy rubber eraser stuff. Right, so for a Zentangle, you start off making. Like for me, I'm just starting to get into this. Usually I kind of go um, all the way to the edges, but my husband who photographs my work says that's such a pain to photograph um, if you don't go leave a bit of border around the outside. So this is not about perfection, and that is why it appeals to me. So I could, I might just put this down for a second and um, use a ruler to... Um, just make my lines straight. So I'm sorry, you're not seeing anything for a second here. Boop, boop, boop. Um, so the reason I got into this zentangling thing is because my very extremely clever sister-in-law was visiting her in Canada and she was making something, a card for someone, and she was just very carefully doing these little tiny tiny little pen marks and I thought what are you doing and um, she said oh she said just a zentangle and I had never heard of that before so I got myself a book and a practice doing various patterns so I'm just getting rid of a little bit of the messiness um, but you can always erase stuff at the end it doesn't matter um, I got myself a book and I learned to do a whole bunch of different patterns and I've loved it and now I'm in a, in life, I'm not really such a detail person, but in this stuff I am. The first thing you want to do is you want to make a thing called a string. So you just take a pencil 
I need to draw something. So really, I have no idea what I'm going to do with this. So all I've done, you see he's made a little loop here. We don't know what's going to happen yet. We know not. So um, you see how that kind of divides this page, this piece into that big space here, this round space, and this space around it? What I usually do is I usually decide which part to tackle first. And I'm not going to get this whole thing done, I'm sorry, with you today. Um, but I'm going to just give you an idea of how you might do something. So I'm going to make a very, very simple grid on this little bulbous loop thing. It's just going to be lines going that way, vertically and horizontally. And really, it wouldn't even matter if it's straight or not. It really makes no difference. I'm going to take my 01 pen. I'm going to do, I'm just going to go right straight in here. The thing about Zentangling as well is that you don't really need to make it perfect. Well, unless you really want to, but you just want to commit right away to using a pen because if you just use a pencil, it kind of defeats the purpose. And if you make things like mistakes, you can just fix them afterwards. So I'm just making kind of circles that fill each one of these squares. And it looks kind of boring, but the joy in this is in the journey. You just keep on going. So this is an edge one. I do it as if it's going right to the edge of a circle, as if there's another circle there. It kind of creates an illusion that it's part of something bigger when we know it's not. But at the end, it'll look that way. And so you just keep on going. So this is going to have a pattern. It's completely abstract, right? But you do it slowly. I could even do it more slowly right now. But I want to at least get one little part done to show you how cool it is and how easy. See, I'm not making a full circle there. There we go, this is another, I shouldn't really call them circles. Some of them are circles, some of them are ovals. And what I've learned, this has actually taught me a lot about life. I've learned to take things that look like mistakes and make them into design features. <laughs> and um, it really does kind of relate to life. Now look at that. That's nothing really impressive yet, right? But what I think I'm going to do, and I'm really making this up as I go along, is I'm going to take those little spaces between each thing, and I'm going to color them in. Let's maybe make that one like that. There we go. So I'm going to make this black, okay? There we go. So it's really dividing your, your piece of paper or your square or whatever into little bits and kind of tackling one bit at a time. Now, there are a million, probably, actually, there probably are a million. That's probably not exaggerating. There's a million ideas out there. And if you look up Zentangle on YouTube, you will see loads of stuff. Or even on images, Google Images, um, Tangle Ideas, and even if you have something specific in mind, tangle borders, tangle grids, tangle um, geometric patterns, and they can look super impressive, and they're not usually um, super complicated to produce. You just have to have patience. As a person, I am a big picture person. But when I do Zen tangles, I do lots of details. People sometimes mistake me for a detail person. This is completely erroneous. I am not. But this has given me a little discipline in my life to focus on details. So I love doing this. Now, I'm stopping there because this video is almost going to be over. But I want to show you. See now, that's already looking a little better. I want to show you what you can do instantly to make this look a little more interesting. It involves the use of a pencil. <laughs> a little bit of shading, right? Just how about we pretend this part on each one, this part here, is a little shaded area, right? So 
See now how how nice that's already looking. I'm just gonna do a few more here. Now these ones on this other side here, we aren't going that far, so there we go. You don't need to do that. Now I might just sort of smudge it a little bit, my finger, or you might have some kind of special stump thing, which I don't have right now, but um, there we go. And it gives them that little bit of 3D texture. Now I might tackle this little thing here and next and make it some sort of a, a vine or a branch. There are so many ideas of what to do. That is all I want to show you today. I just hope you have some fun and I hope you try things and look stuff up and see what you can find. Have a happy, happy day today. And join me again on a spot of positivity. Goodbye.